I have had a mad few days on eBay. So let's catch up. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm John Luke. I'm a full-time eBay seller. I work out of this garage, a weird and wonderful garage. I sell all sorts of stuff, clothes, games, trainers, collectibles, whatever you can think of, I probably sell it. If you're new to the channel, that's what I do for a living. And yeah, I buy stuff for a low price, hopefully sell it for a high price, have a bit of fun along the way. So lots to do today. First and foremost, I've got to get all my eBay orders picked, get them all packed and get them out the door. So it's a weird one today. It's a Thursday, which I don't normally post on, but because it was Bank Holiday Monday, I posted on Tuesday. So it's kind of offset me a little bit. So these sales are from Tuesday night and yesterday, which is Wednesday. I've had some crazy, crazy sales. So the purpose of this is just kind of give you an idea of what you could pick up and what you could sell, basically. The first sale, we've got this DVD box set, the owned in line, the owned in line. That's how you say it. Honestly, I said the one in line before. And um, some guy on uh, Instagram was mugging me off. Shout out to you. Um, it's actually the owned in line. Sold that for 15 quid. I'm not sure. That is the seventh series there. So yeah, look out for that one. Didn't realize how much that'd be worth. But um, yeah, done really well off these. I actually picked up the full set. However, one of the series was missing a disc. So that was a bit of a shame. We sold this Nightmare on Elm Street. Cinema of Fear figure. So it's uh, Nancy in the bath. Very, very cool. We got £70 for that. That came in a bundle with those big Ninja Turtles. So we're in profit with that now. This is our straight, straight profit. But yeah, definitely worth looking out for this one. It is by Mezco. If you find it new in the box or in the plastic, should I say, it's like three, four hundred quid. We sold a bundle of these six Smurfs. So these ones are all brand new on card. We got £21.24 for those. Obviously, they came in a massive bundle from the car boot. Then we had a big, huge sale. So originally, this guy bought four listings there. So he bought the Leaf car, a couple of brand new Smurfs, and then the uh, the little jungle set for £71.36. So I think I sent a little bit of an offer out, like a 15% offer out, and he accepted on all of those. And then I kind of said, yeah, I've got some more here. And then I made him a custom listing and we sold them for 99 Couldn't get my words out there. So yeah, 170 quid for that little bag of Smurfs there. Buzzing with that. You would have seen me pick up the lot for like 50, 60 quid on the car boot. I've sent a good load of it off to Amazon and I've got a couple more listings left on eBay as well. So I'm some really good profit in that. Look out for Schleck or Schley. Apparently it's Schley. Uh, that's what Masterpieces told me. But uh, we're going to stick with Schleck, me and Mop. Right, so enough of the Smurfs. We sold Minecraft on the PS3 for 10 99 so that one's been up for a while, but I did a little sell similar on a lot of my stuff. And a lot of old stuff has been moving. Sold one of the pops. We've got Gamer Bart here. £19 for him. He had a little crease on the side, so not perfect, not minty. But still, 19 quid. Can't complain with that. I sold off one pair of the Uggs for £85. This is a bit cheap, to be fair. But the rest of the pairs I've actually got up here, which we've actually got new shelves, guys, if you didn't notice. They're going to be safe for the winter now. So, yeah, this is a lot of unlisted stock, winter stock. That is a massive new shelf that's gone in amazing that's like really created a whole new space up there it's almost like a, its own little shed up there that's like a really really big space we've got this one in the middle here as well where we're going to put like little amazon bits and bobs stuff that i go into amazon we've actually got a mystery parcel to open a little bit later and then packaging stuff all up there so we can see that from this side basically it just keeps all the packaging cleaning stuff above head and out the way Enough waffle though, 85 on those Uggs. They obviously came from Trainer Lady, so I think the price per piece on those were like 24 quid, something like that. Um, it depends which time we got them, because we had got some Uggs before the last lot. So yeah, great profit anyway on those. We sold this Wallace and Gromit Fleece Sheep Rustling board game under here, which is actually like mint condition on this. We got 23.99 for that, and we actually paid 50p for that, I think. It was like one of those stores that everything was 50p on the car boot. 24 quid there, worth looking out for that one. But that, that's the best condition I've ever seen it in, to be fair. This one was just a little freebie, I think. It was just getting thrown out somewhere, and we sold that for 10 99 It's like an old-school CD language course. But still, 11 quid. Can't complain with that. GTA 5 for 10 99 premium edition. Uh, classic game. Can't believe it's 10-year-old this year. That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Hopefully, GTA 6 will be with us soon. Uh, next up, we got these Adidas Adelet sandals, UK 6, 37.49 for those. They set us back around about 12 quid. Uh, they're an earlier deal with Trainer Lady. I think these were bought up at the end, like everything was like 5, 10 pound at the end. So still some decent profit in those. We got 23.99 for this 4,000 piece jigsaw, brand new and sealed. I think we paid four or five quid for that on the uh, car boot. So that's not hung around long. 24 quid there. Of course, got those Smurf ones as well that we've already talked about. But this one is the absolute sale of the year so far. So I picked this up for a fiver in a charity shop. Uh, a well-known charity shop, good friends with them. 
and I really didn't know what it was to be honest. Really didn't know what it was. I just knew it was. It looked nice. I liked the um, the pattern on it, like the paisley pattern. And then when I got home, I found this in the pocket. Turnbull and Assa London. So this was in the pocket, and it weren't sewn in. We actually resold this in. Um, and yeah, some great money in this stuff. Never seen it before. By appointment to the HRM or HRH or something. Prince of Wales shirt makers Turnbull and Asser. The one I actually seen in the shop was uh, it said all oh, silk or something on the inside. Yeah, that's what I seen. Anyway, this dressing gown is sold for three hundred pounds. How mad is that? Three hundred quid. So yeah, got to make sure I pack this one well. This is actually staying in the UK. Surprisingly, thought it would have gone abroad. But yeah, three hundred quid. It didn't hang around long. So yeah, that's the sales from the last couple of days. So about eight hundred quid in two days, which is amazing for me. Uh, sometimes I'm doing that in a week. So to do that in two days is great. I've had no sales today though, so might go quiet again. Uh, it's just how it goes. Some days it's quiet. Some days it's manic. Sometimes I get a week where I don't sell much at all, and then sometimes it's absolute chaos. So you can't really predict it. You just got to keep listing, keep smashing it out. And um, yeah, just hope for the best. Right, in terms of the time though, it's 20 past 10 this morning. I've done 10, 11 listings on eBay. So we're already ahead of the day with listings. I'm just going to get all these packed. It shouldn't take too long because there's nothing crazy in there. Just a few box stuff mainly and a few large letters. So dead easy to do. We get out to some charity shops. I'm actually going to go to the charity shop where I bought this from. And also I've got a load to donate there as well. Day in the life. Look at that little device there. eBay, £2.99. Hmm. Right, so we dropped off both of our every parcel packs. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Our Don't big bundles. Surprised. And then our parcel shop is now doing Royal Mail. So we dropped off our Royal Mail as well. Which is amazing because our normal post office queue is really long. Yeah, so buzzing with that. That's key news in Oriston. Is it Oriston? Yeah. And now we're off to our charity shop. shop. Yeah, we're going to Hugs for Henry now. Do some donating. Maybe John will do some buying. I'm on a buying ban apart from car boots. Yeah, so uh, we'll show you what we get later on. We've got I'm the mystery box. Right yeah, you got to get some up. Got a little mystery box to open a bit later as well. Get some bargains. We've got stuff to drop off, so yeah, we'll catch up with you in a bit. So we're back home. We've got a little bit of a haul. We got a Bieber bag. Bieber Bieber. Bieber Bieber, nice Castle Festival season. We've got a little Xbox One adapter, you guys all know. I always, I've always yeah, you didn't know what it was, but I've, I've used these for years, so I don't even know if they're worth much, but it chucked it in. It's a headphone adapter. Oh, okay. For your um headphones, your headsets. Got a Hal Huber. Brand new, it's, it, I, you know, I've never heard of it, but it, it's brand new with tags and it had 100 quid on it. So I just thought, you know what, nice why not? Little Kettlewell leggings, like a waxy feel on those. And then a couple of mini Bowden shorts. Very, very cool. So I got those and then I actually gave the charity an extra £20. Uh, I know it doesn't cover the cost of the dressing gown, but it's just a nice gesture. They said they didn't want anything. Like I told them the whole story about the gown. But um, yeah, it's just a nice gesture. Just give them a little bit more. It's the right thing to do if you're honest and you're good. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's all dealt with now. Everything's posted out. We've got a few bits to do, but we have got a mystery parcel to unbox from that said charity. So this big old box came from Hugston Henry where we've just been. It's a great children's cancer charity. Uh -huh. And there's two shops in Plimstock. Are they both in Plimstock? Yeah. Technically. One at the Broadway and one at the Sugar Mill. We're good friends with those. And they watched the videos and they've created us a mystery parcel to do on video. So shout out to Jackson and shout out to everyone at Hugs. We have just done a big drop off to them and we also bought some stuff. So it's just a constant ongoing Yeah, ongoing relationship. relationship yeah. So we'll link Hugs down below the Facebook page and all that. But yeah, make sure you call in if you are local. Well, not local. It's worth the trip. It is. It is. So yeah, let's crack into it. It looks like they're all individually wrapped. Which is taking a lot of time and care. Yeah, in Ikea bags. So... <laughs> And we can always do a Ikea bag. There's a lot of them as well. Oh. And that is the sticker there, Hugs for Henry. Kindly donated by Hugs. Very cool. Right, I don't want to rip the Ikea bags. Are they actually all Ikea bags? Or do they cut up Ikea bags? I'm not sure. It looks like that would be a lot of effort oh. to cut up Ikea bags. Right, because this could be a big Ikea score. <laughs> it is a little panda. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Very cute. Number two. Ooh, ready for the weekend at Wembley. Manchester <gasps> City flag. No way. You gonna take that with you? Maybe. Saturday. You have to. Mm -mm. Very cool. City, city. The <laughs> yeah, best so I am. team in the land. And all the world. So we are going. Yeah. Well, not Charlotte's not going, but I'm going to Wembley on Saturday. Oh. Aww. It's another panda. 
He's a little car one, by the way. Little looks cutie, yeah. So, like, two pandas and a flag so far. <laughs> Feels like a cuddler. It's another panda. <laughs> I got big ass. We, we got a panda addiction. That's a TY beanie panda. Oh, that's cool. That's my favourite panda so far. I have a feeling most of these are going to be pandas. You know? Yeah. Me too. Like most of these will redonate and they'll be able to sell again anyway. It's just fun content. This is just fun. We may keep one or two. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a cute one. It's really cute. I love his claws. Hello. Very cute. That's the cutest one, yeah. Mom? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh. I'm a mommy to too many. <laughs> it's another soft bar. <laughs> it's, it's another panda. It's the National Blind Children's Society. Number five, or four, or six. He's actually quite cute. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Panda squishmallow. I like that one. Oh, I've always wanted a squishmallow. <laughs> Hello. It's a born. <sighs> it's a boy. <sighs> <sighs> another one. Great fun, Jackson. <laughs> really funny. Last one. <sighs> <laughs> He's massive. Uh, hello there. You scary. That was good fun. I'm paying at the same time. Yeah. I've used my muscles then. I haven't my been used in a while. Um, yeah, thank you very much to Hugs for Henry. A lot of these pandas will be coming back to you to live in the soft toy bin in the shop. But it was very good fun. Go and check them out. Really good prices. Loads of different stock every day. The turnaround is constant in there. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, good charity shop. So, yeah, go and support them. So, we've done all the posts today. We've done a little bit of sourcing. We've done 10 listings this morning. What I'm going to do for the rest of the day now is just more photographing. So, I've got loads more stock. Obviously, I'll go around it now and just to show you the um, the scale of it. But, yeah, just taking things slow. Going to do a bit of listing outside. And then, hopefully, we should top out at 20 plus listings for the day. And then, it's Friday tomorrow. To smash out the listings and post again tomorrow and then i'm at wembley watching city and united on saturday with my brother so on sunday i'm not sure if i'll actually make a car boot we'll have to see we'll have to see but i know there is some midweek ones starting next week so we should have a we should be able to get our fix very soon so in terms of unlisted stock there's loads of media all little bits and bobs that have come in this week there's some trainers that i've actually got down to do this is all been listed now so this is to be skewed in, into the boxes but yeah this is all unlisted up here so the weighted blanket i need to do to be fair and there's obviously everything up there needs to be done but yeah we're not short of stock i'll tell you that for free we've actually been doing a load of mystery boxes mystery clothes bundles on instagram so i think i've done like four of those in the last couple of weeks this is all unlisted clothes there so i'm going to get some of that done as well today but yeah just going to pick out a few hard goods to do do a little bit of clothes outside and then we'll wrap it up so first up we're going to do these prada shoes i'm going to put these on auction i think on a sunday because i just can't find much on them super random we got them off trader later um yeah just see how we get on with those also we've recently been on tiktok we've got someone running a tiktok page for me now jesus christ some people on there are mad like it's blew up it's a bit overwhelming to be honest i don't really read the comments because it's absolutely toxic as hell but um yeah if you want to join the tiktok or watch the videos on there defend me in the comments There's some awful people on there so yeah i just thought i'd put that in there because it's been overwhelming to be fair i've only put a few videos up and it's mad 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 so i've done a couple of pair of shoes and we're doing a dvd recorder just giving it a clean up and stuff it is pack tested from the chat shop to be fair with the remote and stuff i think that was six quid sticker there you should get like 40 at least maybe 50 maybe 60 we'll see just making a small dent i'm going to do a few little bits here and then go outside with some clothes just to mix it up a little bit charlotte's working hard this is my day in the life <laughs> day in the life of Char. i've just cleaned out this compass that i picked up last month so i have to see what's going on with that it smells real funky the guy said it needs to have new liquid in i don't know i'm not sure but you're gonna be smoky that is smoky but this is a vintage ikea it's not oh. vintage it's just rare they rare. don't they don't sell them anymore so this isn't on scad it was four pound on vintage mm -hmm. and they're worth about 30 quid so what's well, tip here he's, part of, the he's part of the family now yeah he's drying i'm not just cuddling a toy in the sun he's he's been dry for a few hours <laughs> Smells a bit petrol or something. I don't know. Oh, it's not nice. That bag can't be put back in there. That is, oh, strong, whatever it is. It might be the, might be leaking the stuff in there. Right, I've made a good, good dent into all of that stuff. Empty shelves. That's what we like to hear. I have got a shelf on the way tomorrow as well. Another set of racking that's going to go. 
just there. So onwards and upwards, making changes all the time, especially with these new shelves coming. A lot more space to work with, which is great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do listing for tonight, and then I'm going to be cross-listing a lot using Zip Sale. So you've seen that in my videos before. Zip Sale, it's on desktop or laptop or whatever. You just list normally like you would on eBay, and then you go connect your marketplaces on Zip Sale, and then you can cross-list it straight away to Vinted, Etsy, Depop, Facebook Marketplace. There's loads and loads of stuff you can do on there. And then when something sells on Depop or something sells on eBay, it delists that item off every other platform, so you can't double up with the sale so yeah that's the plan for the rest of the night if you want to get involved with zip sale use code john luke there's a link down below get a free month worth of trying it literally just connect your marketplaces then you can uh, get going with it but I've, i found it really useful using multiple platforms to get more sales that way also to finish off my night i have got an accountancy meeting with aaron that's at quarter past five so that's coming up in a moment so i will love you and leave you there's loads of links down below in the description so facebook groups ebay stores instagram links tiktok pages Gusto links, get five meals for 10 90 <laughs> They're actually great. It's actually great food. Uh, but yeah, enough of the waffling, enough of the waffling. I've got my meeting now, so I will see you in the next one. Hope you did enjoy watching. If you did, leave a like, hit subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. So Charlotte's cooking a bit of dinner. The Gusto, the Gusto. Mexican style pulled chicken burgers. We had them before, you liked those ones, didn't you? Mm hmm. Um, so Damn. Yeah. The code is down below. Click it. You can get five meals for £10.90. You get all the meat. All the meat, all the veg, everything you need. Then you can cancel it afterwards, and you've got a pretty cheap week of meals. Yeah. £10.90. So John Luke's having both. <laughs> yes, sir. Happy days.